key to, to picking up the victories this year? Well, I think there was something mind changing, mind change a little bit, uh, more focus on the training or, or the things that uh, make me a better fighter, uh, and that was it. I think the the biggest problem was uh, something <laughs> in my head that I didn't want to win this fight like, last couple of months, and yeah, this uh, this year is r really good. So I think that that worked. Nice. Well, I wonder if was it was important. I mean, through the the setbacks that you had, I mean. Was, was it difficult to keep like self confidence to believe like yes I I belong here among these people? It is. It was a tough time because uh, you know I had like two chances with the top five uh, in the world like uh, Fabrizio Verdom, Derek Lewis, and then I I lost those fights. So that was something you know doubts in my head that maybe I'm not uh, at, the, at this level. And then it was actually got a little bit worse because of that. So yeah, I just had to uh, step back and readjust my uh, my mindset, and I'm here back. And and with a big fight, I think that Ben Rothwell is a big fight for me. So, yeah, it's it's starting over again. I was going to ask you about that. I mean, it's, you have fought some bigger names, but this is a pretty big name. So when they when they threw this out there, did they? Did this excite you? It is, yeah. I uh, once I find out that will be Ben Rothwell who's uh, excited because you know that I I'm, I don't think uh, uh, my previous opponent was wasn't a big names or good good fighters, but you know Ben Rothwell is a legend of the UFC and and that's uh, that shows me that the UFC still puts some you know attention on me and, and wants me to you know to prove to prove something. I know everybody at heavyweight is big and strong, but does a guy of his size, does it create like special challenges or that you have to adjust for in preparation? Well, yeah, it's, uh, I, I fought uh, uh, Stefan Struve and this, uh, this guy is, is big like crazy. Uh, I know the Ben Rothwell is um, more the guy who like who know how to you know take advantage of his size and and his uh, his he moves in like a special style uh, and all this stuff. That's something you know you have to adjust lots of things for for, for fighting Ben Rothwell. But I think I did it. Nice. Uh, and, and lastly, what's what's the goal here? I mean, if obviously you want to win the fight, but I mean, this would be a nice little winning streak for you. It's a big name. Um, I mean, are you want to fight again this year? Do you have names? What's what's the goal with this fight? Well, the names that will be the time after the fight. Uh, that I think that that bring me back to the top 15, maybe top 10, and then ask for the for the bigger fights too, and and just climbing the rankings. That's that's the the main goal. The winning is uh, the main thing for me. That's what I'm focused on. In camp, uh, of course, when you're preparing for a fighter, a fighter like Ben Rothwell, who has a very specific, like, like his go-go choke is, is famous. Is it when you're watching his tape, are you watching that choke and like preparing? No, like, it's, is it easy to prepare for someone that you know exactly? Like their go-to move. Yeah, but we are. Used, uh, I train with lots of wrestlers, a lot of uh, jiu-jitsu fighters, which is also big, and uh, they have like very really strong hand, ha hands, and they can like choke you with just with just just grabbing your head. And, uh, and I think that's uh, they, they show me the moves. They we, we there's something that's something that we're preparing for, and and I think yeah, that that was one of the things that <laughs> that we see the the danger is from the banner at one. There seems to be a lot of mystery surrounding that specific choke. He won't even really talk about it in interviews because he doesn't want to give anything away. Do you think you have figured out how to perform it and counter it? I think so. Yeah, we, I, as I said, the, the my camp, the guys from my camp, they they sh they, they watch it a lot, a lot of tapes on, on this choke, and they they actually know the the move, how he do it, and they they I think they preparing for that for sure. You look pretty tan. Um, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it, it's kind of a Polish tan still oh, because uh, there was a summer in Poland uh, like up, uh, previous two months and now it's just coming to an end. But uh, I like the you know staying on the on the sun during the day and uh, just keep my energy from the sun. So uh, last time I was on the fight island, I really enjoyed the sun and we had it in Poland, so I just continue there. Nice. Well, what are your thoughts on Jan's big win? Oh, it's huge. It's huge for not only for Jan. I, I, I'm really happy for Jan because he's my friend. We train together and he's a great guy and I'm happy for him. But uh, it's also something big for Polish, you know, MMA. And uh, that's uh, not, o not only for, for Polish fans, but for Polish fighters and uh, for Polish fighters in the UFC. That's, that, that's big. That brings big attention for us. What do you make of uh, Gamrot's going to be making his debut soon too? 
Well, I I don't know what's the opponent right now. Is he because there was a switch? switch yeah. yeah. So yeah, but probably who will smash him like like crazy because yeah, this guy is uh, is uh, in Poland. He's like big star and and do whatever he wants in a, in a, in a octagon. So I think there was a big big name in the UFC soon. Anything else? Cool. Okay. Well.